Okay, uh, mm. I finally got around to finishing this little A10 that ELERC sent me. Um, been very busy, that's why it's taken such a long time. Now, uh, I've just gone with a couple of um, AEORC fans, which my good friend Nitro Charged uh, assembled and balanced for me. And they are just using a Turnigy, oh god, I don't remember the specs, but it's a tiny little Turnigy motor with a uh, blue casing, I think. They still sell them. Uh, it can it runs on 2S. If you can't run it on 3S, it's about 60 grams thrust roughly per uh, side. Now, the elevator I should have put the servo I was going to put into the fuse, but I glued the fuse together before kind of uh, realizing what I was doing. I got a bit excited, so that's kind of just butchered into there. Works fine. I tried the um, single servo for the ailerons, but I just hate those torque uh, rod systems, so I just happened to have two tiny little servos around. I put one in each wing, which I prefer anyway, it gives much more direct uh, movement of the control surfaces. It's pretty basic. I've got the, the wires running up, you know, in there, and it, it's pretty crammed, but it wasn't too bad. Um, the A10 is not an easy model to kind of route all your wires and stuff through anyway when you're talking about big power systems. Um, I've rolled it on the ground, uh, plenty of power. It just it scoots along the ground. I haven't had a chance to fly it yet because it's about 40 degrees outside, 40 degrees Celsius that is. But um, I'm planning on running a 800 two cell now I have no idea where the, the um, balance point is so we'll just have to sort of see what other guys have tried and I'll probably go slightly nose heavier first and see how we go now I'll, um, I'll power it up so you can see how everything, if everything works okay okay this is um, the weight of it now that's the battery I plan to use I'm going to get some nanotechs because we've seen them down the field and they are just so much better so I'm going to order some of them but um, that's what I'm going to use now what we have here we have 188 grams that's ready to fly which is what's that 6.65 ounces for all uh, those using the th that system <laughs> that's called metric 188 grams ready to go holy dolly she's a sexy little thing Hang on. Let's go, go there. Or is that the wrong way? I don't even know which way that goes. Stupid. But anyway, there she is. Now I still need to. Uh, I'm just going to plug that in. That's only a little 460 nanotech two cell. It's my 800s. I haven't changed the um, plug yet, so I'll just plug it in so you can just get an idea of the power. I have, I have used these fans on a little twin EDF multiplex Fox conversion and it flew fine. It was no rocket, but it flew fine. Which I have a video of on YouTube now. It is ready to go. I just need to put the canopy together. So, you know, yeah, the ailerons are all working, elevator. We have no rudder. I mean, if you're really keen, you could probably rig up the front wheel and have a steerable butt. You know, there's not much room in there. And if you're keen, you could do that. So I'll just put it on the ground and I'll throttle up, and you just you get an idea. Of, I, I honestly think it will fly fine with this power. So I'll stand over there so I'm going to hit the couch. Okay, I mean, it, it really it took it scoots along, so you really should have no problems flying, and that's with the wrong battery. So. Once you get the 800 in there, it will have a lot more power and then we should do just fine. So, to anyone out there that's got the, um, also got a sample, that's basically, that's an off-the-shelf power system. Like I said, that's a Turnigy in-runner with the little AEO 30mm fans. I'm sure ELERC sell fans because I'm pretty sure they offered to sell me some. 
but I already had these. And Turnergy batteries, little Turnergy ESCs, all off the shelf. I'm sure Nitro and some of the other uh, really clever guys will be winding their own custom motors and having massive outputs, but I did this as a, as a way to show uh, your average RC bloke that can't rewind their own motors and stuff that you can do it with off the shelf gear. So if the weather, the temperature comes down, I'm sure we'll get to Maiden this probably Sunday. So stay tuned.